uh, you're going to drive VP1. This is the first Valkyrie we've built. They're all raw prototype cars. So you know about the car, of course, so it's an active suspension car, active aero, active damping, hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, I mean, it's a work in progress, but uh, it's something. I mean, to have this on the road, it's uh, it's gonna be insane. Was it? Good. <laughs> it's good, like the feeling on the entry. It's good, it's right? Quite sharp. Board gear already. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, for me, the, it was the first time uh, driving the uh, the Aston Martin Valkyrie. So um, yeah, it's of course incredible uh, to get a first uh, like taste of it. So of course, very happy with it. Yeah, so of course it's still under development phase, but um, I think you can already feel the basics of the car, which of course compared to a normal road car are um, yeah pretty different, I would say. So uh, yeah, the Valkyrie, I mean, it's, it's incredible. Is it the, the the downforce you have on the car as well? 
Um, it just looks super aggressive and um, it was a lot of fun out there. I think uh, on the RB15 it looked already very nice, but I think even on, on the Valkyrie here it looks even better. So uh, yeah, it's a very cool livery and uh, you'll definitely uh, see it driving around. You can't miss it. We're here in Silverstone, a very cold Silverstone, um, driving the Aston Martin Valkyrie for the first time. Uh, very exciting and a uh, good experience. Looks really cool. I think the, the first thing that I got was the visual aspect of it. I think, especially on the inside as well, you can tell it's, it really feels like a, like a racing car, the way that the monocoque kind of covers you and you feel really safe inside. Um, you sit really low down, you've got good visibility. And uh, yeah, I mean, it just looks, it looks, it looks awesome. Obviously, it's still ongoing, the car, and it's still developing. So um, it's still got a bit to go, but already now it feels, feels very, very good. I felt like, uh, especially the balance between the corners, um, yeah, it, it was light, it, it felt sharp, um, good on the brakes, so yeah, all good. It really shows Red Bull branching out. I think Aston Martin as well, being very welcome to the idea that uh, a Formula One team working with, with a man car manufacturer, um, with Adrian's help and everything like that, I think, um, it's very exciting to get that kind of technology that we have at the racetrack and bring it onto the road. Having Max and Alex in the car today has been fantastic. They've had a first impression of the car. Uh, they've given us some feedback, a bit of a direction. Uh, and what will be really interesting is to see in a few weeks or a few months time, further down the road, uh, whether we've met those targets and see what their second opinion and second taste is like. Hopefully we've made a great deal of progress. Well, we're here at Silverstone. Last time I was here last July uh, was with this car, VP1. Uh, we've had a very busy few months since then and we've actually uh, multiplied our development fleet. Um, the bulk of our work early on in a test program for a car like this is all around the powertrain. That's the longest lead time item and the, the biggest volume of work needed to, to be done, both improving out the hardware but also the, the calibration of that engine to make sure that it meets all of the basic emission standards and so on for a, a worldwide road car and then we start building up into the drivability calibration of both the engine and gearbox. So it's a huge amount of work, and that's the majority of what's been had taking place since July till now. I've been driving this car now for quite some time. In the simulator, I've been driving it for two years. In reality, quite a few months now, but it never gets old. A car like this is just a thrill every time you sit in it. And, uh, you know, for the owners, they're just gonna, every day will be a, a new experience. It's just gonna be a fantastic, never-ending journey with this car.